Hi, my name's Lee, this is my second video in my application for a position on the Investigative Journalism Programme 2013 with Channel 4. This time I'm responding to a question about fearless approaches to a story and I would like to start by saying that I think positioning fearlessness as the buzzword or an underlying principle of investigative journalism is a great shout and I hope my own intrepid approach to storytelling is something that came across in my last video. Another preamble, I was recently in contact with a representative of the homeless charity Crisis and I learned that there had been a 31% rise in the number of people sleeping rough in Britain in the winter period that we've just experienced and that Crisis were anticipating a 20% rise in the number of people accessing their services and inquiring into their facilities. I was also discussing with this individual the bedroom tax and the potential repercussions of the bedroom tax, particularly in the North East where it seems as though that measure will hit the hardest. For me, it seems as though the issue of homelessness is about to become politically, socially and culturally relevant in the UK, particularly in the North East. So with that in mind, I am about to go and spend a week being homeless in the West End of Newcastle. I will sleep rough for a week, scrounge for my food, uh, access the services that other homeless individuals in the West End use. I will interact with as many homeless people as possible and immerse myself in that lifestyle as deeply as I can. Um, I hope that you perceive this to be a, a fearless approach to a story. It certainly feels brave from where I'm sat right now. I'm uh, about to embark upon this documentary tomorrow morning. Um, it has certainly caused a huge amount of trepidation amongst my family and friends who who do think it's a a brave thing to do. Um, that's the impression I want to leave you with about my my willingness to to get to the heart of a story. Um, thank you very much for watching both my videos, and I look forward to hearing back from you.